the finishing the liposuction on the back. You can see she got a nice curve here. Before she was square here. And now when we inject the fat, it's just gonna augment the buttocks even more. Our goal here for, for La Diosa is to accomplish two things. One, she wants more hips and she wants more volume in, in her buttocks and she wants to go as, as large as we can. So everything is done with an ultrasound. That's for um, patient safety. So as you can see over here, that's the, the top part of the skin. All this is the fat layer. And then you can see this part right here, that's the gluteal implant that she has. So we're gonna be injecting the fat on top of the gluteal implant, but between the skin. That's all the space that we have. Typically when injecting the fat, the limitation for the amount of fat that you can put in is not based upon how much I wanna put in, it's based upon how much the skin can handle. As we're injecting the fat, the skin's stretching. At some point in time, the skin's not gonna move anymore. And once that happens, you can't add any more fat. You can see that line right there. That's, that's the cannula. And you can see the injection of the fat going in right there. You know, the one thing that strikes you when you see Latiosa is she's obviously a very flavorful person. You know, multicolored hair, you know, she has that body type that, um, you know, she wants the big breasts, she wants the big uh, buttocks, so, you know, she wants to be extravagant. Esta es, la, esta es la máquina que se llama el Cell Saver, que es la que ayuda a coleccionar la sangre y, y la separa la sangre de la, de la grasa. Este es el container, llega, llega toda la sangre con la grasa, se separa, pasa a través de la máquina, se separa a, acá. Lo que no se va a usar viene para acá y lo que se va a usar eventualmente la voy a coleccionar y se lo va a devolver al paciente. Quiere decir que si el paciente... Que, perdería un poco de sangre, no se pierde la sangre, se le puede, toda la sangre útil se le devuelve al paciente. Mi trabajo es eh, estar al tanto de, de su salud, de cómo están los signos vitales, si está orinando, manteniendo su, lo, la presión, el latido del corazón y mantener que eh, el nivel de anestesia donde ella no se sienta nada y esté cómoda. I started the breast, she had implants beforehand, and you can see, so we've, we've taken out her, her old implants, which were a, a textured, um, 425. She has a little bit of some capsular contracture. You can see this is the capsule around the old implant. It's, it's a little hard. So we're going to cut that out so that everything is, is fresh and new. We're going to put the, the new implant in under the muscle and then we're going to lift up the breast so that we get everything, you know, more rounded, better shape, higher, get the nipple into a better position and, and give her a little bit of more extra volume so that she can be symmetric, you know, the, with the breasts, the waist and the buttocks. Everything kind of matches all together. Dominican body, as far as from what I know and what um, patients want, you know, they want big breasts, big big buttocks, and a tiny waist. For her her new implant, she does want to go bigger, so we're going to go from a 425 to a 550. You know, it's always a matter of of looks and shape. You know, she wants to go bigger, but with her body tape, you don't want to go too big, because then it's going to make her look too top heavy, and it's and it's not going to look good. So. I think you know, just going up another cup size or two in her with the 550 will be will be sufficient to give her what she wants, but to still make it look nice and attractive. So we did liposuction with a fat transfer, and then a breast uh, lift with a breast implant exchange using a silicone implant. So this is the last part of the combo that we're doing now, the um, breast lift, which is the the mastopexy with the implant exchange. So once we put everything together. Um, surgery will be finished, we'll wake her up, and then after that, she'll go into the recovery room and she'll recover in there for a couple hours and then she'll go home. No, doctor, cuénteme, ¿cómo fue todo? So we're all done. Everything came out perfect. Um, we're just waking her up from anesthesia now. Afterwards, she'll go into the recovery room, but everything went perfect during the operation. She's gonna look great. Eso, so cuando ella se vaya a recuperación, ya podemos ir a verla. Yes. Eso, me parece genial. Gracias, doctor. Thank you. Bueno, ya vamos saliendo, señores, ya se acabó la operación. Ok, estoy aquí desde las 5 de la mañana, así que ya se podrán imaginar, todo salió súper bien. Ella todavía está un poco dormida, pero ya en unos 10 minutos va a estar completamente despierta, así que vamos a ver qué tal reacciona cuando ella se ve. La paciente se despertó perfectamente de la, de la operación y estamos en recuperación y todo salió como planificado. Y ella está contenta y, y no tiene dolor ninguno. Diosa, diosa, despierta. Ya la cirugía terminó, despierta.